you, you talked about how women and men's palates are different. How is their cooking different? I mean, I, there's a, a editor I know uh, now at Eater was at Savour then who said that uh, that male cookery was all sort of knives, guts, and fire. Um, ni knives, spice, and fire, I think was how she put it. And that often seems like a fair characterization to me. My guy friends really want to load up the heat. They really, I, I remember having a guy tell me that like the secret to, to really good cooking was just dump Cajun seasoning <laughs> all over everything. Um, what, you know, how do, how do women cook differently? Well, it, I mean, you, you, we're not going to get into developmental theory here. No, no, yeah. so, no I mean, but, but I can tell, I can, I can tell you the, you know, the general broad strokes, women are essentially more concerned with internal experiences. They are more motivated to talk to someone in a, at a dining room table, and a guy will look at the television. You get four guys, and the four women will talk to each other. For you, know, the point is, is that they early on there's 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 a better internalization of the phenomenological world inside the body, so they actually begin to recognize those characteristics of things that are what I would call body perceptionally. So that tends to be a little bit more subtle. It tends to be a little bit more in time. Um, and they don't like the transformative process as much as understanding the, the and this I'm going out of line, but they would prefer to accept the flavor personality as is and understand it rather than change it into something that I do. So like Fuchsia said, if you took that carrot, that pork, that kidney and just made it spicy, that's what guys, they want to take, change it and transform it. They want to create something new. They want to actually not allow, if you allowed nature to take its course, then you wouldn't be cooking. You don't have the heat, you're not transforming the spice. And so we're women, except for Lydia, Lydia Shire in Boston, she's the only one that I could never tell. Women tend to actually believe that, they're, that the ingredients should be left alone, Alice Waters, or that school of, of cooking, and that you can literally coax natural ingredients into something that's complex and satisfying and sophisticated and healthy. And it's sustainable, it's even better. But man, you know, I, I believe that if we go that too far, that we're not going to learn how to make moles, that we're not concerned with other black bean soups. I would rather learn how to make, when I lived in Guatemala, every woman in the village made black bean soup. Not one of those women ever told me, you know, I, 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 go, to the, I go to the market and buy organic black beans, so mine's better. Not one, every woman <laughs> knew how good her black bean soup was. The best woman in the village, she was 37 steps. And she really got me going. I traded to her a wee peel. Now, women tend to be more focused and more creative and more subtle. It doesn't mean that they're not as rich a tradition, it just means that it's a different level of recognition.